So the demand for Fire Stick alternatives is really ramping up. As you guys know, Amazon have made some changes recently. They're constantly blocking things, disabling things, hiding things, basically stopping us doing what we want with our own devices. And because of that, lots of you are looking for alternatives to the Fire Stick. Well, the 4K streaming box from On has proved to be very, very popular. Well, let me now tell you that you can actually get this box right now from Amazon in the UK. Amazon USA, but delivering you the package in the UK. So because of that amazing news, I know lots of you would be interested. Let me now also answer some of those common questions that how easy is it to expand the storage? Can you really move all applications to USB? Can you use a custom launcher? Can you sideload? Can you jailbreak? And all of those common things. Let's answer all of those now. So the first one, how can I very easily expand the storage on this device? Well, using a small OTG adapter, which cost a couple of dollars, this will allow you to plug a power cable into this port here, the micro USB port. You can then plug this port into your on box to power it. And you now have a full size USB port where I've just plugged in a USB stick. Now plugging in a USB stick will then give you a prompt on your device asking you, do you want to format this device as internal storage so you can move applications to it or you can have it as external storage which means you can then copy movies or copy content from your PC and access that content directly on your Onbox. But what I've actually done is you can do a special format, a custom format, where you can say half of this USB drive is used for internal applications. So I can install applications, I can move applications to it. But the other half is actually external storage, which means I can then plug this into my laptop, into my PC, copy movies to it, and then enjoy those movies directly on my device. Now, if we see here, if I go over to the settings, if I go down into storage, inside system, we can see my device has detected 15 gigs of internal storage, where it classifies as device storage. And this is used for applications and to install things and to move things. But we also have 16 gigs of external storage. So this is the same 32 gig USB drive but I've done a special format allowing me to use half of it as external and half of it as internal. Let's quickly look at the external side first. We can see if I open up a, an app like VLC, which is a great media player. And now all of these videos you see here are actually on my USB drive. So for example, here is a, uh, some of the, the movies that, um, I purchased before, so I can click on one. And as this is now playing that movie directly from that USB drive. So I know lots of you do prefer to access content through a USB drive. And you can now use this plugged in directly into the OTG cable and access all of your movies from that USB drive, playing it through VLC on the on 4K streaming box. That's the external side. Now the internal side we can see here. If I go over to applications. And let's say, for example, I want to move an application over to the USB drive. So if I go down into applications, let's click on that. Let's say I want to move this uh, Wi-Fi speed test application. I can click on that, go to storage, click on that. And we can see now I have the option to move this to the USB drive. So one click very, very quickly. This is now move this application directly over to the USB drive. So super easy to do. You can quickly move your applications over there. Now, in case you're wondering certain applications that can't be moved, for example, this uh, VPN, I can click on that, go to storage and we can see there's no option to move it. Let's go back. Uh, let's just do one more. Uh, for example, downloader, click on storage you can see there's no way to move that. So how can you move these applications where they don't really give you the option to move them over to your USB drive? Well, there is a special switch you can turn on inside the developer options, where we can see here, if I go scroll down, if I go to system, scroll down into the developer options, and I'm sure you guys know how to do that. If you don't know how to do that, leave me a comment below, but go to developer options, now here we have the typical things like you may turn on USB debugging if you want to use my TDUK applications on this device. Also great to reduce the animation time. We can see I've turned off the Windows animation scale and the transition animation scale. Both these are switched off and this has been reduced to 0.5. So this just makes the device a lot more snappier because you're not waiting for those transitions. But also what you can do is if you keep scrolling down, 
maybe you haven't seen all the list here, but right at the bottom, we have force applications over to external because typically when an application is coded, you can set in the configuration, the app manifest, can this application be moved over to external storage? And in most cases, most developers to minimize complications, they don't actually allow that option there, which is why lots of applications, when you try to move them, you just don't see that option. But now, for example, if I turn this on, that's now enabled. I can go back, back again. Let's now go back to applications. And now, for example, if we see all apps, we can see now any application. Uh, let's try IP Vanish. Click on that. Go to storage. And we can now force the application over to USB by clicking here. Let's go back and download it as well. Click on that. Go to storage. And we can see we can now also force that over. It is worthwhile testing to make sure that the application is stable on USB, but definitely enabling that option will give you the ability to move any application that you like over to your USB storage. So for this point, USB storage works really well on the on 4K streaming box. And if you guys do want to see a video on how you can do that special format where you can format half of the driver as internal storage for your applications, and the other half can be external storage that you can use on any device to copy movies, copy options, copy files. Do leave me a comment below and I'll create you that special tutorial on this on 4K streaming box. Okay, that was the first one, a bit of a long one. Next one, can we still use custom launchers on this on 4K box? And the quick answer to that is we can see on the remote control, if I press this button here, which is the Paramount button, which I don't use, one click, my custom launcher has now launched where I can see all of my applications, I can organize things, I can change the background, I can create custom sections, I can hide applications, but the answer is yes. Using a custom launcher on this box is super easy. Just takes a couple of clicks. You can do it through uh, using Button Mapper, or if you want to use a launcher like the Project Ivy launcher, the ability to set that as your home launcher is actually built into that application. But definitely guys, super easy to use. Nominate a button, one click, and you're looking at your custom launcher. So that definitely works on this on 4K streaming box. Next up, how do I actually get this box from Amazon? Because I don't want to buy it from eBay, people charging double, triple price. What's the best way of getting this box in the UK or in other countries? Well, if I jump over to Amazon, you can go to amazon.com and I will leave a link in the video description. Whilst you're logged in as your amazon.co.uk account, your UK account, just search for on 4K, and you'll see there's actually two boxes here now, lots of different sellers that do ship internationally directly from Amazon. And we can see they're charging only $29, $30 for the item and $8 or so for the delivery. So $40 or so, which is about £31. So that is a lot cheaper than some of those other sellers that were charging £50, £60 on eBay. You can click on this. You can see they definitely will deliver to the UK. You can see I've got like a, a dummy address in here, but definitely a UK addresses are supported. It is shipped directly from Amazon. You can see here ships from Amazon and you can now get this box for a fairly reasonable, fairly cheap price. One key thing to mention is you'll notice that this is the Android TV version, which was a 2021 release. There was a slight refresh for 2023, which has Google TV instead of Android TV here, but the specs are fairly similar. Definitely both have two gigs RAM. I think the newer one has AV1 decoding, but for the majority of you that are just looking for a box to do third-party streaming, you're not gonna notice any difference getting this box versus the 2023 release. Whereas in fact, some of you may actually prefer the older box because that allegedly has no issues reading NTFS formatted USB drives. Whereas lots of people have had trouble trying to get that working on the 2023 release. But main thing is for $30 thereabouts, you can now get this box even delivered in the UK. Next up, can you still use third-party streaming applications on this box? And the answer to that is a big fat yes. If I just open up a popular one, we can see it opens up very quickly. In less than five seconds, I can now browse a massive library and click on something and get access to lots and lots of links. So, of course, with RD, but that's working fine. Let's go back. Wi-Fi speeds, I think lots of people always are interested to see on a small box like this, are you gonna struggle with Wi-Fi speeds? Is the Wi-Fi chip bad? Does it struggle? But as you can see here, now you will notice that this application takes a few seconds longer to load because this is now actually running from my USB drive. But yep, yeah, couple of seconds, loads fine. And we can now see what kind of speeds we get on this mini on 
4K streaming box. Yeah, I'm more than satisfied with 470-ish meg down. Yep, no worries with Wi-Fi speed there. Let's go back. That's pretty much this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I just thought I'll share a couple of those common questions and answers for this box. The fact that you can actually get this directly from Amazon, shipped from Amazon USA in the UK. I definitely thought you guys would be interested in that. And I will leave those links in the video description if you want to order one of these boxes. I've actually got some other boxes coming from Homatics and a few other official certified boxes. So if you're interested in other more powerful uh, alternatives to the Fire Stick, make sure you are subscribed to all notifications and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.